So, Chris, let's talk yeah. about uh, improving your click-through rate. So how? what are some ways they suggest to improve your click-through rate, the, the second factor of yeah. quality score, so, expected click-through rate? Yeah, so number two, click-through rate. And expected click-through rate is, is one of the scores that they give us, uh, below average, average, and above average. Okay, so expected click-through rate indicates how likely people are to click your ad. Okay, so take a note here. Expected click-through rate takes into future account. It is not is not present tense. It's not past tense. Click-through rate is past tense. Expected click-through rate takes into past, present, and future. Okay, it's a really interesting distinction here. So when they talk about expected click-through rate, there's other things to consider rather than what your click-through rate is now. Um, so. When they talk about expected click-through rate, these are the things that they say to try and get your score up to average or above average. Edit your ad text to make your offer more compelling to your target audience. Okay, that's a tough one. A lot of people can interpret that in a lot of different ways, but we'll move on. Ensure the details of your ad match the intent of your keywords. Okay. Highlight a unique benefit of your product or service, such as free shipping. All right. I like the unique benefit. Experiment with different call to action messages that connect closely with your landing page. So there we go. We've already made a jump into number three, which we'll be getting in, into. It's already connecting. Uh, it's it, We've connected the, uh, the first one, which was the relevance to, to keywords and search terms, right? So the ad copy has to be relevant to the keywords and search terms. Now they, they've moved from on number two, they moved into the, ad copy being relevant to the landing page. So we're, you can see all this is so connected. So in the last two, creating compelling call to action. You like get a quote, try, buy, sign up, find, browse, order, things like that. And then the last one, <laughs> it feels like it didn't really belong here, but it says be specific in your ad text. I feel like they already told us that in all the other ones. But uh, anyway, that's the, that's the last point. Jason, your reaction. Well, it, expected click-through rate, it's one of those controversial things. We've talked a lot of, about it a lot in the past on past episodes, possibly in the first 100 where uh, we have those available for sale. Paid Search Podcast Archive, you can go to the website. Um, we've talked about it a lot on those episodes. So we, we think it, it at least used to take into account the expected click-through rate of not only keywords in your account, but the way those keywords perform have performed for every account. We don't see that language anymore in the documentation, so it's really hard to say if that's still going on or even if I'm recalling that correctly. Um, but it is a it is a tough thing. All this means to me, Chris, is make make good ads. Um, I don't know really. There's not too many ways to say it. I think keeping it simple is is the right thing to do here. Make good ads that people want to click and give them what they want. Um, I have a little formula I like to do with that, which is basically um, catch people's attention and then offer them something so compelling that they have mm. to click. Um, yeah. And obviously it's, it's got to be something real, but they're not going to click. They're not going to read your ad unless you catch their attention. And then obviously you want them to click. So you got to offer them something no one else is. And um, that's kind of the fun of uh, Google ads these days, in my opinion, is using the responsive ads and all that ad copy space you have to come up with something attention grabbing and then also super compelling. Jason, would you say that you have had experience seeing specific types of keywords having very poor expected click-through rate based entirely on the keyword? So you'll have one keyword in an ad group that shares the same ad copy as another keyword, and then one will have a below average and one will have an above average, but they share the same ad copy. So have you found that to be the case? Yeah, and I have. And that's why this language from the doc about how much expected click-through rate is influenced by ad copy is surprising to me. Because mm -hmm. when I think about expected click-through rate, I think about the keyword. And I think yes. about the expected click-through rate on that keyword, again, not only for your account, but for every account in general, um, and how clickable it is a keyword or how likely people want to see ads on that search. So just to give an example, if if someone did the search uh, definition of pasta, you're probably not going to see an ad 
on that search or say pasta in Spanish, it, pasta in Spanish, that search, you're probably not going to see an ad on that search or right. how many inches in a foot, because those are not searches that lend themselves to people needing a, to connect with a business. Some searches in a computer's eyes totally need to connect with the business, like moving companies in Dallas uh, or dentist open on Saturdays. But there's all this like border gray searches where the computer's kind of confused and it's a gradient. And some people are looking for a business. Some people are just looking for information. And I think those are maybe the ones that get less um, yeah. expected click to rate, therefore less quality scores. Therefore, if you spend your time trying to optimize for something that's out of your control, thank you because we're dominating your performance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You thanks. Know? Thanks for the leads. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that, you're, you're exactly right. I mean, so, because I wanted to bring this around before we conclude on number two, I wanted to bring it around to the fact that it may that not be your yeah. ad copy. Yeah. Right. It may not. I, be your I ad think. Copy. I think. But there's nothing you're looking at or nothing I'm looking at that backs that, that up. That, yeah, so, it doesn't say that in here. But I yeah. know that I see if I, you know, for, to 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 say like if you just have the keyword lights. And all of your ad copy is about LED outdoor lighting for homes and, you know, uh, tree lighting and all kinds of stuff about, you know, it's a wow. specific yeah. kind of light that you're selling, but you have the word lights. And then on the next keyword, you have LED outdoor lights. Online. You're going to, you're going to have, yeah, online, something like that, something very specific. You're going to have expected CTR on the first one. The word lights is going to be below average. Probably, and then, yeah. And then the other two are going to, the next one's going to be. But that's not to say someone with a huge budget can't be running on broad match lights with a right. super low bid and get a cost per conversion that they like. Yeah. So all of that to say is that I think it's odd that that's left out because anyone who's in Google ads knows that you can see it. it is not like every ad group has the same expected CTR. Every on keyword. all of the keywords because yeah, that the keywords, is not yeah. the case it is it is a keyword by keyword definition so it has expected ctr is also the way that that keyword is interpreted and i think you said it best jason some searches do not need to mm. connect with a business it, since we were talking about ad copy with expected click rate i mean to be fair chris we're focused on keywords you know um but at the same time Th this document is focused on ad copy when it comes yeah. to expected click rate. So for us to make the claim it's about keywords, like, yeah, I'm going to stand by that based on what we had seen in the past and in our experiences over the years. 